But now that I have BB with me, I feel a lot more confident against the against the BTs. So hold on. Where's the geologist? Is it this one? Yes. Okay. Let's go. I'm pretty sure you could probably go back, get a vehicle, leave it here, and that kind of stuff. But it's like, what's the point? There we go. I have enjoyed the the mountain section so far, and especially when the B2s come out, it does get very dangerous, and it still gives you that kind of scary vibe that you got when you first met them. The ones that are out in like the normal world, they're, they're much less threatening these days, especially since you have so many tools to deal with them now. The only problem is that the, the deterioration will happen a lot more quickly, I think, now on, um, on my cargo. So I've got to be careful. Right. So... Okay. It looks like if I go this way, there might be a, an easier path through, so I'll take that. And there's a nice timefall shelter up there too, which I can appreciate. I think I might build one of my own there. I haven't built anything other than zip lines for a long time. Although they do take up a lot of chiral bandwidth. To be honest, this is another area where you do need a zipline network because you're going to be going to and from these guys and then you have to come back to Hartman's lab. So I think to save you a journey, you might need to do that, but we'll see. I'll probably go as far as I can while I'm still in the chiral network and then plant mine. So yeah, good job with this. Thanks for your help. Okay. Stuff's been fully restored. Four, five, nine. That's not too bad. I can't see the line anymore. There was a. Where's the chiral network running now? Oh, very soon. Okay, I'm about to leave it. Right, okay. Yeah, I'll lay a, a BT sign here. Because clearly they're launching. Uh... I've only got one PCC. I swear I had a second. Anyway, I won't be able to use it any further on anyway. So it's fine. I've just about got enough for one of these. So I'll get one final recovery for my cargo and then we'll make the push it's funny how lopsided my star is right now I've got two purples and all the way down to green really on the edge Construction complete. alrighty One thing I'll do is I'll equip. Oh, sorry, the assault rifle's already on my back. I didn't see it. Yeah. Alright, let's go. It's that time. I wonder if it's if it's worth to have you back. It's definitely good to have you back. I'm wondering if I should use the bowler gun in conjunction with the assault rifle. It's been a while since we really squared off for the BT. 
And I don't count whatever the Mads episode was about. Alright, here we go. There's our first one. It takes, a, it takes a fair few bullets to take one out. That's why I'm wondering if I should just bowl a gun instead. It's a second. It's like on the ground. Weird. Is gone. I'm not seeing the stress meter for BB. man. Just about, I think. Good riddance. Okay, we're managing, but it's, it's looking pretty treacherous. I think I'm going to bypass these ones if I can. What the hell happened? Oh, I set the bomb off. Really? Was that easy to set off? God damn it. I thought with the f floating carrier it wasn't going to be that easy. That's bullshit. I might try and carry that one on my back and leave the rest on the on the carrier. Right, where do we begin? This is before I off okay. So I have to edit ahead. Okay, so this time I've opted to have the, the bomb on my back in case we have a similar situation happening as last time. So I have to put the sign down again. The only thing with these BTs is that it's difficult to tell when they're, when they're quote-unquote dead. Looks a bit too slippery for my liking. Okay, I'm going to try and go a little bit higher, like up to this bit if I can.
So you, usually an indicator is that you can't hear those <laughs> those footsteps coming towards you, or those handprints or whatever. So while I was worrying about the bloody BTs, I ended up dying as a result of the bomb going off. Honestly, so far the floating carrier has been very reliable. And there's not been too many situations where the thing that was on it would be particularly damaged. But there you go, it happens. I mean, I've literally climbed down with, a, with an anchor using the floating carrier and it seemed to work fine. Now... I don't know where this BT is. Probably low down. Right, I think I'm okay. 300 meters. Still a lot of work to do. So I think this, this bit down the middle is obviously terrain-wise the easiest route, but it's probably where most of the BTs are. So that's why I'm trying to stick to higher ground if I can. I assume there's less BTs up in the, the slopes. Proving true so far. But I think I'm going to have to go down there eventually again. So I think with BTs, in terms of when they're dead, you start to just get a feel for it. It isn't always a clear indicator, but... You get an understanding eventually. I'm going to stick to my strategy of trying to stay, trying to stay high here. Be very careful across bits like this. So like, I feel like that impact would have destroyed the bomb and <laughs> given me a game over. How are we doing? 240. Looking good. I might come down for this extra crystal. Let's get some repair spray going. It's a lot of damage. Right, that's good. And this really reminds me of um MGS2, where you're fighting Fat Man and you have to defuse the bombs using the, the spray. Right, let's keep moving. In terms of the map, yes, yeah, unsurprisingly, it's time for throughout. But trying to stay away from that main central path as best I can as well. We're done? That was cool. Alright, good. Alright, so here we'll, we'll shove a keep on keeping on for folks. And now we've got the poor visibility that I don't think should be a major problem. I mean, the fact that this still works just makes it a lot easier, I think. If in these situations your map got fuzzy as well, that would have been kind of cool. But because your map is quite clear, 
it's not too bad. But of course, we're at the stage where one slip can mean a game over. So let me save here. Try not to go too quick. Yeah. So the Odra deck helps you paint a, a momentary picture of what's around you as well. It's definitely helpful. first time around we kind of screwed up. That battery is going quick as well, by the way. But my stamina is doing really well, I noticed. But the battery is draining noticeably quickly. Come on, this BT land. But I should have enough battery to get to the geologist without too much issue. Right, is it up here? I think it is. Alright, I'd say that's a job well done. A lot of stuff for the roboticist here. But. If I didn't have the extra battery on my backpack, I'd... Whoa, 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 whoa. Honestly, I let go of L2 and R2 for like a second because my fingers were aching a little bit. <laughs> and, it, and it was too much. So it goes to show, like once you get to this level of sensitivity with your cargo, and you're on the mountain, you pretty much have to hold on the entire way. Because I'm not used to playing a game where I have to spend minutes on end pushing down L2 and R2. It's a bit different. But I was pretty close to the end anyway. Where exactly am I? Yeah, okay, good. So let's try it again. The drop cargo was delivered by a watermelon. Melon. The trouble with this uh, all-terrain suit is that because he can move so easily through the terrain as well, you can sometimes like get a bit too excited and move too quick. So it makes you more liable to, to stumble over things because you can you can go pretty quick in the snow. So soon it should clear up like it did last time. But no, that last one, it was definitely deserved. I mean, I couldn't say it was unfair or anything, but it's just its just further proof of how how sensitive it really is. You let go of that L2-R2 for a second, and that's it. How are we doing? Right. So I think I took the left here, and this is where I fucked up. It's only lost a couple of minutes, thankfully. Right, this time let's do it right and not let go of L2, R2. But you see that all oh, easy. I'm just pressing X, man. I'm not trying to do no crazy sprinting shit. It's just crazy that you can get this close. Uh... Actually, I don't like that. That was not a good idea. Let me put it on. What am I cons- Oh. Okay, that's better.
Same problem that we had before. Need to turn around. Okay, let's do it. It's just funny, you could be like five meters away and still fail because of one rock that you stumble over. But I think we're safe this time. So we failed twice, both for the same reason. But we got there. So was it the paleontologist that needed the bomb, or was it the geologist? Again, let's see. Here we go. Ah, damn it! Got to carry the bomb around for a little bit more. you doom sufferers see that end of day stuff i put the nightmares down to fatigue the uh, possibility of chiral contamination never even occurred to me uh, it's just lucky we caught it before the suicidal stage dying's not an option my research is nowhere near complete it's not just my life you're saving here it's my life's work i started to wonder if i'd ever see these meds I guess you really are good at what you do, huh? Thank you. I'm the best. Even though I died twice to get here, but you don't need to know about that. Okay. See, again, I've got no delivery time points for that. How much faster do you want me to go, man? What the fuck? Wanted me to zip line the whole way somehow. I'd be happy to. Okay, I think we can skip this scene. Alright, it's another piece in the puzzle. So I think there's only two that, I have, that I've missed so far. Two preppers, I guess, that I haven't been to. Climb anchor level two. Nice. Probably a longer rope. Okay. And just like that, I'm part of the UCA. With access to a treasure trove of historical research materials, studying this fossil beach should be a good deal easier now. Yeah, we've definitely Assuming seen that I one. Can prove once and for all that that's what it is. Honestly, though, I'm just excited I can finally share these findings with everyone. Can you believe I found chiral deposits and strata dating back 65 and a half million years? Evidence of an ancient death stranding. Chiral matter has existed on Earth since long before the dawn of man. This stratum is proof of that. Look at this, Sam. Do you see that black fissure there? We believe this is the source of the Chirelian readings. In the distant past, earthquakes caused frictional melting along fault lines, producing layers of what is known as pseudotachylite. We call these layers fossil earthquakes. Extending the principle, our fissure here is what one might term a fossil beach. The presence of corellium in this of all strata cannot be a mere coincidence. It strongly suggests that beaches must have appeared during the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event. And not just then. The chiral network has recovered data suggesting that similar fossil beaches were discovered in strata corresponding to other extinction events too. That would seem to indicate the Big Five and all other major extinctions were accompanied by the appearance of beaches. In expanding the chiral network, you've helped us glimpse a pattern in these scattered points of data. You've furthered our individual research projects and ensured that it is only a matter of time before we recover all we have lost and solve every mystery that remains. But this is only the beginning. See this through, Sam, and there's no telling what we might learn. I cannot wait to learn more. Good work. New order available. All right. Please accept.
more compact, more anchors to be packed. Also, both improved durability and time for resistance. Oh, it's still it's still thirty meters. Fine. But again, look how few the ceramics are. Bastards. Okay. How am I going to recharge my battery here? Do I have to rest for that? I forgot what the deal was. Recycle some used shit. And I'll recycle my existing climbing anchor. Okay. Bridges boots are fine. Anchor is fine. I think I need to make some more PCCs now. Thank you for your contribution. Okay, now I've got to figure out how to recharge my battery. It's not a problem I've had before. Uh, let's see if someone's got a generator out here. If they don't, we're going to be building one. Nice. 10,000 here. Oh, it's a level 3. Sheesh. That's nice. Good job. Uh, yeah, let's get the... Cargo menu. Oh shit, I made PCC level 1s instead of level 2s. That's not what I intended. But for this particular one, it's, it's not a problem. I've got just enough for a generator. If we can get them to overlap, that'd be nice. There we go. Get my battery back up to speed. Again, I don't have enough chiral network coverage to do anything more anyway. Let's stay here. Hmm. Right, how far away am I from paleontologist? 653. Okay, so the chiral network here is pretty much... Uh, of course, I'd love to put a couple of zip lines here. So put one there. And maybe like one here. But we're going to be trekking it instead. To be honest, I can load everything on, on my back right now. Uh, is it worth doing? I think we'll see maybe once we get there. I think once we're done with the paleontologist, then we have to go to here. So ultimately, it's probably just, it's not, it's not that big a deal. I won't do it for now. Okay, charge me up, baby. There we go. Okay, so everything's in tip-top condition now. Uh, hello, Fragile. And I need to go to Paleontologist. All right, let's make moves. There's no um, BT signs, so maybe it's a BT free run. Even if it is, then it's not a big deal. As you've seen, we can deal with them. But we're eventually heading back to Hartman's lab, so I can take this, I think. I don't want to climb. Come on, man. You can grab that. Fine, I have to climb. <laughs> Okay. Almost ruined by time fall. Really? What? But I've been repairing that shit. Like, we've been in the time fall shelter like 50 times. How? Hmm. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Well, it, that, of course, that doesn't have container damage. So, I think I'm going to fabricate another just in case. 
I'm not taking that risk. And again, I've fucking taken two of these things off. I really don't like that mechanic. It's good for putting stuff on there, but when you're in rough terrain, it's just 